So, you want to make money online. Well, good thing you clicked on this video because today I'm going to be teaching you guys five legit ways to make money online. But before we hop in, if you don't know who I am, I am Nick Mast and on this channel we talk about personal finance, side hustles, and just money in general. So if you want to see cool, awesome videos just like this, among others, go check out my channel and subscribe. So we're going to be going in order from number five to number one. So make sure you stick around to the end to see that number one. All right, let's get into it. Number five here is product testing. And you might be like, there's no way you can make money testing products. Well, I personally have tried it out and I can personally tell you that you can do it. Now, with product testing, you're not going to get rich, but it can definitely earn you some extra cash to do really whatever you want with. And for this side also, I got two websites I'm going to show you right here, right now. And if you want to sign up for more websites or you don't like either one of these or both of them, you can always just do more research, just a simple Google search. Uh, websites for testing products will do the trick and it'll give you a bunch of options. But these two are my favorite right here. The first one is besthomesidehustles.com. This is the one I have actually uh, used and had success with. Um, you, it says right here, become a high paid product tester, you paid up to $20. Um, so they basically email you and they're like, hey, or you have to apply for different products. So if you, um, I applied for this uh, Amazon game board thingy and I got accepted. So uh, what I did is I ordered it and then I sent them a screenshot of my order and they paid me directly through PayPal. They reimbursed me for that product. And then once you uh, get it, test it, try it out, and then you write your review, depending on how in-depth the review is and if you include photos and videos, they will pay you anywhere in between $5 and $20. Now, uh, for me, that didn't quite work out, but it wasn't on their end. It was on my end. Uh, so I will put my whole video up somewhere up here if you want to go watch it. Um, it's about all. It's all about my experience with that uh, process and everything and what went wrong in the end. But eventually I did uh, end up returning that item to Amazon. So I got my money back. Plus they didn't ask for the money. They reimbursed me for the product back. So I made like $40 just off of that. But yeah, that's probably my favorite one. And then the second one here is US product testing. And I actually haven't personally uh, got a product from this one yet because while they do offer some pretty awesome products to test out, it is very limited and very hard to get selected for them. So they do things like iPhones, AirPods, uh, gift cards that are worth like $100 or more. So they do some pretty big uh, testing products. So if you can win those, then you get to... Uh, get the item like the iphone you get to keep it and they'll pay you for the review so this one is and it don't worry it's totally legit and everything so this one is a very good one i just haven't had any success in getting a product to test yet and like i said this definitely won't make you rich but you can get some cool products and you can get paid just to test them so it's it's fun and you can make money so that's why i have it on this list all right, number four here is just freelancing. And that's pretty broad, so what am I talking about here? So mainly, I am talking about if you have a certain skill, like let's say you're really good at editing videos, or you're really good at making YouTube thumbnails, you can uh, sell that service on places like Fiverr, SEO Clerks, uh, other freelancing sites like that. And I know I have said before that I don't like uh, Fiverr and it's way overcrowded. And that is true if you do a niche like logo design, which there's so many listings, it's not even worth it. But the thing is, you should also be promoting your service on other websites. Like I said, SEO clerks, that's the only one I other I know off the top of my head, but I know there is a ton more out there. And you can also promote it on your Instagram, TikTok. Uh, maybe you can pay someone to put it your service on their story. You can promote it on Facebook groups, stuff like that. 
So as you can see, I just searched up freelancing websites here and look, they got Upwork, uh, Topol, Freelancer, Craigslist, Guru, 99designs, nine people per hour, and this isn't even, this one doesn't have uh, Fiverr or SEO clerk. So there is a ton of them out there. You can just list your service on one of these. But the thing is, your service also has to be like unique and you have to be somewhat talented at it at least like you can't just make a logo design gig uh out of nowhere because you think you can make a lot of money off of it when you've never designed a logo before and if you don't have something you can freelance with like you don't have a talent like that that's all right maybe this one just isn't for you or you can always learn something new so that's number four, freelancing. A lot of people are making a lot of money with that. So that's why I have it as number four on this list. All right, moving on to number three now. One of my personal favorites here, Instagram theme pages. If you watch Bia Heza, you know he is a huge Instagram theme page guy and I am too. Instagram theme pages can be a very profitable business and the one of the best things about them is there is literally no startup cost. You can start a page with zero followers, not spend a single dollar and get to a million followers. Now, that's not saying it's gonna be easy and it's gonna happen overnight. A lot of times with Instagram theme pages, it can take a while, months, years to grow your page to a, an amount of followers that you can uh, market it and like make money with it. But with that being said, once you do get to that level, there is a lot of money to be made. There are uh, brands wanting you to shout them out. There are people wanting you to shout them out and they will pay some pretty good money. There are also different services out there where you can put your page on it and people can come and click on your page and they'll buy like a shout out from you or something like that. And my top piece of advice, if you're gonna start an Instagram theme page, you gotta start it in a niche that you like. If you hate cats, then don't start a cat page because you need to do this for months and years. And if you hate cats, you're gonna get bored or sick of it and you're just not gonna do well and you're not gonna post and your Instagram theme page will fail and you'll be like, Nick, I didn't make any money with the Instagram theme pages. Well, you kind of messed it up. All right, there you have it. Number three, Instagram theme pages. Definitely can be a very profitable side hustle. Uh, so now we're going to move on to number two, which again, one of my personal favorites, how I really got started making money online, and that is reselling. And with this, I'm talking about any kind of reselling eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, what are some other ones? StockX, Go, Poshmark. There are a ton of different reselling websites and apps out there that you can get started reselling just basic goods on. And I have a whole video on this, but just to kind of throw it out here to let you guys know what you need to do. What I did when I first started out was I literally searched around my room. I looked under my bed, uh, in my closets, on my shelves, and I found just random items to resell. I had a clay cruise ship model, a broken Apple Watch under my bed, and I just sold those items. And that's how I first uh, got into selling online. That's how I first got some capital. Once I had some capital, I started going out and thrifting items, buying items to resell, and once I got even more capital, I started getting into shoes and hype clothing, like mainly Supreme items. But unfortunately, unless you do reselling on like a massive, massive scale, this won't turn into like a full-time job. It can. There's people that do it, uh, Rake and Profit out there. He's made a full-time living reselling. But for most people, it is just a side hustle, And but it can still make you quite a bit of money. I will say I have made quite a lot of cash with reselling, mainly on eBay, a little bit on StockX, Goat, uh, Mercari, stuff like that. All right, it is time. Number one, the best way to make money online as a teen by far. And I guarantee you know a ton of people 
that have done this or are doing this, maybe not personally, but you know them. And that is content creation. And before you say, oh, well, I don't wanna make videos, I don't wanna put my face out there. I used to be the same exact way. When I first got into uh, making money online and <clears throat> making money in general, there were a lot of people saying, you know, start a YouTube channel, start TikTok. And I'm like, no way. I will never post YouTube videos. I will never post TikTok videos. That's not me. I can't talk in front of a camera. I can't uh, put my face out there. It's just an absolute no for me. And that went on for a couple months. And then I, I something switched and I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. I've learned a lot. There's a lot I can share with people so they don't make the same mistakes I have made. So I just did it. And you might be thinking, Nick, how do you make money with this? You don't have a thousand followers or you're not monetized on TikTok yet. So how do you make money with that? And well, I'm not yet. But this is just like with the Instagram theme pages. It can take some time but once you get to those uh, numbers and you start getting lots and lots of views, you're going to make some pretty good money. And also, like I stated before in my Instagram theme pages part, while you want to start these things, you don't want to start one in a niche you're not interested in. So basically what I mean is you can't just start YouTube or TikTok just because of the money. You have to actually be interested in what you're talking about. I really like making money. You guys really like making money. I like sharing ways to make money and teaching people how to make money. So this is perfect for me. And well, yes, I will be very happy when the money starts rolling in. That's not the only reason why I'm doing this. And this one will honestly probably take even longer than the Instagram theme pages, at least on YouTube with TikTok. You can make one video and have thousands of followers, so that's kind of excluded. But with YouTube, at least, it can take years to even just get your channel monetized. And then you're making sense, and then you have to grow it and grow it until you can actually make some substantial money. So that's why you got to like what you're doing. you got to be patient, and you got to stay focused. And if you don't think you can do that, or you really don't want to like make a YouTube channel and show your face and stuff... First, there's always an option to not show your face. You can make a YouTube channel of satisfying videos or educational videos or something like that where you can just talk or you can even do like music or motivational videos or something like that where you don't have to talk. But also if you don't want to do that or you don't think you can stay consistent enough, maybe something like freelancing or reselling is more for you. All right. Whew, that was a lot. It was really quick. I didn't go into a lot of detail. So if you want me to go into detail on more of these things, I already have a lot of videos on these topics. So I will link them in the bio. Go make sure to check them out if you want to go more into depth on a specific uh, uh, method. The purpose of this video was just to kind of get these ideas across to you, show you or tell you what they can do and hopefully you'll try one or more than one and be successful with it. All right, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so I can get closer to that thousand mark so I can get monetized and make my dream come true just like these first, um, the best way to make money online we just talked about. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Peace.